What's up guys? So welcome to our video tutorial in Java. Pasensya na kung medyo matagal naman ako kapag upload. Then thank you for our new subscribers. So salamat, salamat sa mga nag-subscribe and nanood ng aking mga video tutorials. So yun. So in this tutorial guys, pag-usapan lang naman natin ay ang logical operator. So may part po na ako ng if else. So hininto ko muna doon kasi I want to discuss eto muna, mas maganda kung alam nyo to uh, sa mga beginners dyan, pero sa mga may alam nyo dyan in other languages, programming languages to be exact, alam nyo na to. So, para sa mga beginners to sa Java. So, yun. So, lang ang iano kung logical operator. So, yung, this is the common, ito lang yung very common na ginagamit kumbaga sa Java and also in other programming language. So, we have the AND operator. So, ano nga bang logical operator? So, yan guys, logical operators are useful when um, lalo na pag if you are making a program kahit anong language, then gagamit ko ng if else then meron kayong mga multiple conditions. So, di ba? Sa last kong if else sinecheck natin yung number kung less than ba or equal to 10. So, paano kung gusto nyo i-check yung number or less than ba sa 10, at saka kung yung number is greater than or equal to 10, dapat yun. So, multiple conditions nga. So, yun. So, gusto kong muna yung discuss, ipaintindi sa inyo kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng and or or not or not <laughs> sa larang ng programming. So, pareho lang naman to guys. Isipin nyo lang, pareho lang to sa English. Kung maga sa, sa real world Pag, sinati, pag sinabi natin na and, and, o kaya and, you can say it and, pero I tend to say it and. So, di ba, in English, it's a, kunwari, kunwari, in a statement, pag sinabi natin na, for example, um, please get my umbrella and my bag. So, ibig sabihin nun ay, ibig sabihin nun ay, Kung mga pinapakiusapan ka na kunin mo yung, yung umbrella and yung bag. So, it means na kailangan mong kunin yung umbrella at saka bag. Yun. So, kailangan mo dapat kunin mo siya. So, hindi, hindi pwede na dapat bag lang yung kunin mo. Hindi pwede yung ganun. Dapat pareho. So, di ba? So, ganun lang naman. Pareho rin yan sa programming. So, Ang or, di ba, when we say na, please get my umbrella or my bag. So, basically, pag ginawa mo, kahit kunin mo yung, ano, yung bag or umbrella, kahit kunin mo lang yung umbrella, okay lang. Kasi, or, kahit nga alin sa dalawa. So, not. So, eto, etong not. Basically, this means na kabaliktaran. So, mamaya, I'll discuss that. So, in, in, um, sa programming, ang and, Basically, for example, um, ganito. For example, in statement, for example, um, today is March, hindi na March, May, May, ano nga yun guys, May 17, diba? May 17, 2018. Sa so, loko yan ay 11-17. Today is May 17, 2018 and... The sun is color red. So, ganon. So, etong statement na to, today is May 17, 2018. Ano ba siya guys? True or false? True. True siya kasi, tama, May 17 ngayon. And the second statement is, the sun is color red. Tama ba? So, pag tinignan natin ang sun, color red ba siya? Hindi mo naman talaga siya matitingnan directly. So, sa pagkakalam natin, the sun, is, the sun is yellow. So, this is, this statement is false. So, using the AND operator, logically speaking, logically speaking, the whole statement or the whole condition is equal to false. So, ganon. So, oops. So, basically, na, sa, sa nahalata nyo, na pag sinabing and, naka-and, 
once na kahit maraming statements yan guys, kahit maraming statements, kahit ilan pa yan, kahit million pa yan na statements, ilagay natin yan sa and, may mga anak ka once na may nag-false na isa, false na, false na yan na buong logically speaking, the whole statement or the the logic of the statement is false. Kasi, when we say and, kailangan, dapat, lahat, kumbaga, as I've said, doon sa umbrella lang, um, example, please get my umbrella and my bag. So, what if kung kinuha mo lang yung bag, hindi naman yung pwede kasi end nga and dapat kunin mo pareho. Do you get my point, guys? I guess ni ba ako? So, pareho, li- pareho din dito. So, kailangan lahat ng mga statement is mag-true true, enable to the whole statement or logically speaking the whole statement will be true so once may nag-false na isa false na, false na, false na yan so kailangan kumbaga pareho, dapat may pareho sila true so ganun, that's how the AND operator works so paano nga ba yan i-apply sa programming so relax lang kayo guys gagawin natin yan, basta importante malaman nyo ang concept ng AND and or itong mga basic common logical operators. So, yun, sa OR naman tayo, sa OR. So, as, as I said, we said na ang OR, di ba, please get my umbrella or my bag. So, kahit kinuha mo yung bag, okay lang, kasi OR. Kahit meaning, kahit aling lang kunin mo, it's either the bag or umbrella, okay lang, no problem. So, pareho rin yan sa programming. So, another example is, for example, ito. Today, same example, is May 17, 2018. Or, the sun is color, gawin natin blue. So, today is May 17, 2018. So, ano ba yan? True. Tama. Today is May 17. So, or, O kaya, the sun is color blue. So, ano ba yan? Blue bang ba sun? Tama ba yan na the sun is color blue? It's false. Pero, it doesn't matter kasi we are in the or logical operator. So, true, when you say true or false, it is tama, true. Kasi we are in the or logical operator. So, basically, kung isipin nyo, kung isipin nyo, today is May 17, 2018. Tama. Tama siya. The sun or, or the sun is color blue. False. So, basically, the or operator, kumbaga, kumbaga, ang, ang isipin nyo lang, basta may mag, kahit ilang million statements ulit yan, kahit mga ilang statements ka dyan, blah, 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 blah. So, once naman may mag-true, kahit isa, kahit isa may mag-true, kahit almost lahat false, basta may mag-true isa, true yan. Logically speaking, the whole statement or the whole condition is true. So, kahit naka-and yan, basta may, may na-or, may nag-or, tsaka nag-true yun, then true yan. Logically speaking, the whole statement or condition is true. Kasi, as I've said, once we say or, ano lang naman, kumbaga, kahit alin dyan, kahit, kahit kumbaga, hindi naman, hindi tulad ng and or end na kailangan both statement must be true in order to be true yung buong condition. So, once we say or, kumbaga, kung isipin nyo guys, as I've said in the umbrella example, please get my umbrella and my bag. So, kahit kinuha mo yung umbrella, since naka-or siya, okay lang. So, pareho din dito. Today is May 17, 2018. Or, the sun is color blue. So, or, kahit wala siyang pakialam, kahit ano, false yan, basta true, kasi naka-or siya, kahit, kung mag hindi niya pinapansin kung ano, kung may mag-false, basta may mag-true, true yan. Kasi nga, or, or nga, from the meaning itself, or, o kaya, kung sa Tagalog. So, yun lang naman guys. I hope na inaintindihan nyo. So, basically, in-apply rin to sa in real life. As I've said, in-apply ko dun sa statement na yung umbrella thing. So, ang not, wala naman na masyadong ano ang not. Basically, not means nakabalik tarang. For example, um, we have 
For example, meron tayong ito. For example, eh, today is, oh, ganito na lang. Today is May 17, 2018. For example, eh, or the, or dogs have six paws. <laughs> so, ganon. So, basically, this is true kasi May 17 ngayon. So, this is false. So, yun. So basically, this is what guys, this is true. Kasi, naka-or siya. So, ano siyang pakialam kahit mag-false to. Kasi or nga, kumbaga, hindi naman, hindi tulad ng and na kailangan maging true. Kasi end, from the meaning itself, nintindihan niya talagang maigi. So, pag sinabi natin na not, so, ay, uh, not, so by the way, ito yung symbols nila sa, in programming, ito yung symbols sa end, sa not, I mean, sa end to, sa or, eto, then sa not, eto. So, basically, when we say not, when we say not true, not, pag linagay natin na not true, o kaya ganito, meaning not true yan. So, basically, ano yung ibig sabihin? Not true is what? Correct. It is false. Kung magkakabalik ka lang lang, guys. So, once we say not true, it is false. When we say not false, it is true. So, yun lang. Basic logic lang naman. So, ganun lang naman guys. Wala naman uh, masyadong ano ang not. So, eto lang talaga ang dalawa ang very common na ginagamit sa programming. Especially in multiple um, conditioning sa if-else. So, yun. May nakalimutan ba ako? So, kung magtataka kayo, um, what if kung mag true so, sabihin natin red ang sun. Sabihin natin na red ang sun. So, basically, true and true is true. So, as I've said, kahit mag-million statements pa yan, million conditions, so, once na may, basta may mga importante, isipin nyo, may mag-false na isa, false na yan. False na. Basically, the whole, the, the whole, um, logically speaking, the condition is false. Basta may mag-false na isa. So, true and true is obviously true. So, what if kung true rin to, so let's assume the sun is color blue, yes, true pa rin, true pa rin siya. Kasi true or false is, I mean, true or true is true. Yes, so, so kung magtataka kayo, what if kung false yan, then false rin to, syempre, logically, um, obviously, false rin to. Kasi false and false. So, ganun lang naman guys, so... Then, what if kung false rin to, syempre, obviously, false rin yan. False rin to. So, doon lang kayo masyadong, kumbaga, doon nyo lang pag-aaralan yung what if kung true ito, true yan, at saka false yan. So, true and false is actually false. Kasi, kasi as I've said, basta may nag-false na isa, sa, sa and, false na yan. So, and kung iintindihin nyo kasing maigi yung, yung buong condition, the statements is Today is May 17, 2018. It's actually true. Tama. Today is ano. And, and, meaning, and, from the word itself, ano bang meaning na and? Then, the sun is color red. So, meaning, false yan. Hindi naman color red ang sun. So, true and false, it is false. So, Yun. So, basically, the and kasi, parang mini-meaning niya na kailangan, in a statement, kailangan pareho, dapat true to. So, eh, paano? Yan nag-false to. So, magiging false yung ano, whole condition. Logically speaking, the whole condition or the statement is false. So, same application with the or and the not is basically a subject, kabalitaran lang naman. Not true is false. Not false is true. So, yun na naman guys. So, I hope na intindihan niyo wala naman tayong programming na ginawa, hindi naman tayo nag-code basta my point is sana maintindihan niyo to na yung very common na logical operators in Java and also ginagamit rin to sa other languages. So as I said, may advantage na kayo kung alam niyo na to. So yun guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. 14 minutes tayo. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you sa mga subscribers. Thanks.